It's not even my hook in its mouth. I don't know where my hook is. There it is. Both of my hooks are still in the water. This thing wrapped around my split shot and I pulled it up from being wrapped around my line. All right, got a new cook stove for this trip. I was trying to eliminate that old one that I had, that I had, you know, I'll insert a photo of it here. It was in a massive case. This guy's really small, um, much more compact and lighter. And what's great about it is I don't need to pack a separate pan for this because the lid is a pan. This is a windshield guard thing that I don't need, but then it comes in this nice little case here. So we got this guy here. These pull off. This is a jet boil. I'm sure some of you have seen these before, but for those of you that have it, this is a non-stick, supposedly decent quality pan that I can then cook with. Or I've got my pot for water. I'm gonna make some coffee right now. We're gonna throw it on there and this goes underneath. I'll get this thing set up and then I'll show you a little bit more on it. All right, so I've got it set up now. So it's just this jet boil base station and then it comes with this piece that you saw me take out of the case that goes into a one pound cylinder. So this runs off of propane. And what's really cool about it too is this is the clasp that goes on the top. It's actually a bottle opener on it too. So I guess if you need one of those, this comes with it as well and then it straps it to keep it all together. But those just go to the side. Um, again, it comes with this guy right here, which is just a nice cooking pan. I've never used this before, but I saw a lot of reviews on it and it looked pretty good. I bought this myself, so this isn't something that I got sent to me. I just think it's gonna work out really well. A lot more compact than my previous one. But for now, I'm gonna fill this with water. This is a regular percolator. I just use it as a pot uh, just to be able to boil some water. And I'm gonna do my coffee a little bit different this time. So I still got my Yeti. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, it's like drip style coffee. So essentially, once the water's done, what I'll do is I'll take this thing. This is like, I think it's called like a drip cup or something. But essentially this goes on top of my Yeti and then I take a filter like this that goes in there and then I take coffee grounds to put in the filter right here and I just do one of these per cup because I like my coffee strong into there and then you slowly pour the water over the top and it's essentially making drip coffee from my understanding. I'm no, I'm no coffee expert, but I think that's the way that it works. It's, it's going to work a lot better than those bags and I can make it as I go. Super easy to do. And I can just take the paper out, throw it in the trash bag that I have, rinse this off and it's ready to dry it off and it's ready to go. So I'm going to make some coffee. Let's do it. All right, now that that's done, and I only had this thing on like medium, I think. This thing can get hot pretty quick. All right, so now we've got this. Got our water. This thing's kind of hot. Got our water. And now we just pour into here, I believe. And I think the idea is, is you want to pour it really slow. So I think the way that this works is the slower the water goes through the ground, the, the stronger the coffee is. Let's try to get you a better shot from the top. So you can kind of see as I pour it in, it's like f almost foaming up a little bit. And then I gotta stop, otherwise I'm gonna overflow it because it's I think it's designed to slow the water flow down through it. I'm trying to show you. Never done this. Wow. 
truly is a drip but you can see how much water is still on the top it's a pretty cool coffee thing I'm impressed and look how clean that comes out now I just gotta rinse it off and dry it off perfect cup of coffee let it cool down and see how it tastes now let's make some eggs forgot to bring butter for the pan so we'll just use a tiny little bit of oil We're gonna do some scrambled eggs. Pour jack cheese to go on it. Shouldn't use plastic. Not bad. Just take a damp cloth now. Ta da! Here we go, breakfast of champions. Look at them cheesy scrambled eggs. Got a nice Yo Play yogurt for breakfast. Uh, sweet and salty Nature's Valley breakfast bar. A delicious cup of coffee and some water. Now that's what I call a breakfast of champions for a great day fishing. I'm gonna gobble this down and then we're gonna get to fishing. I did not have any cameras out yet, but I already caught a fish. This right here is a 15 inch tulipy baby. Lake of the Woods tulipy, first fish of the trip. All right. Full day today, let's get into some fish. Just gotten into some small sauger yet uh, so far. For sure, a big nice walleye would be nice. I am gonna do a catching cook either today or tomorrow, so hopefully we can at least get some eater size too. You see that down there? Got it. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's a little bit bigger. Hopefully, uh... oh, she's got a little weight. You see that? The other fish is following it. Like, what are you doing? I don't know if it's wrapped. It must be wrapped. Woohoo, baby! This is a bigger fish. I wonder if this is an eel pout. This is my jigging rod with a clam, time bomb spoon, and a dead fat head cut off. It can't come up the hole. I can't, I don't think I can reach that far. A ton of ice right now. There we go. That's a huge wall. Look at this. Beast mode. Nice. That's a sweet looking fish. We gotta get a measure on this. Whoever said at 1.30 in the afternoon you can't catch midday fish, huh? It's a 25 inch walleye. Woo! 25 inches. She's fat for 25. Woo! Look at this fish. Just a beauty. All right, we'll let her go. We got a couple pictures. Beautiful fish. 25 inches. In the slot, the slot's 19 and a half to 28. I wouldn't have kept a 25 inch anyways. But we'll go ahead and let her go. See you later. That was fun. I don't know if that's the same fish or a different fish down there, but I kind of want to catch it. So let's get this guy off the bottom a little. This is awesome. Back to back. Oh, 
I wonder if it's the same fish. There were two of them swimming there. We could see it on the live scope, how one was following it through the water. This is probably the other one just waiting for its friend to come back and it's like, oh, you came back. Maybe I'll try this ride. This rod in line set up to handle it a little better. Back to back, 156. There it is, coming up. Another walleye. Could it be the same fish? We're gonna find out. Nope, this one's smaller. This one's uh, 22 and a quarter. Different, different one. Nice, nice fish. Another quick look at her. Just a beautiful 22 and a quarter, friends of the other one. We're gonna let her go. All right, see you later. Bye. Super awesome, two back to back. All right, we gotta get both lines down there. That was on the other line. I didn't even get the other line back down there yet because uh, of course I needed another minnow head. So let's get them down there. What I just caught that on is this guy right here. It's got like the, it's like the demon eye style of jig and it's got a gold hook and it's got a gold back on it. So I'll link both of these that I'm catching the fish on down in the description below. Both of these will be in the walleye kit that I'm looking to build later this year. So you can buy my five pack of my favorite walleye uh, jigs and spoons but both of them glow. I haven't glowed either of them. It's between that 1.30 to two o'clock time frame. I see more fish coming through, so we're gonna go ahead and get down there. Woo! This one feels heavier than the other ones. I wonder if it's bigger. Oh, there it is on the side of the live scope screen. All the way down there still. This is a bigger fish. This was uh, this was not a shiner. This was a rainbow, actually, a, a little bit of a chunkier rainbow, back hooked on that same demon-looking. I gotta figure out the name of it, but it was like the demon-looking spoon. It was like a chartreuse glow on the front with the pink dot. The back is gold. It's just a single gold hook. Let it take its time. There's no hurry. The more I tire it out, the less risk I have of snapping this line. It's another thing, tuned up custom rod dead stick. Like, I like even jigging with these things because look at the, the parabolic load on the front. Is You'll see when I get a couple of head shakes in, it's easy for me to keep tension on the fish without it going lax. Because that's when you lose fish, obviously. But yet it's got a strong backbone. Another Walter. It looks big. It looks big, baby. Woo! Just perfectly hooked. Let's get that out of there. Look at this fish. That's a longer one. Look at this fish. Nice. This is got it. We got to measure it. Maybe even a twenty. Seven? 26 and a half. There it is, 26 and a half, baby. Woo! Look at this fish. Biggest one so far. Tank. Tank fish, dude. Just a beauty. All right, we'll let her go. 26 and a half. Ready? All right. Here we go. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Oh yeah, a little bit nicer. This thing chased it up though, which is just great. Love it. She's not pulling me down too far. I got a decent hook set, so I'm less worried about that. This, this is a treble hook I don't know if I just got doubled up on 
or if I'm getting spun up to the bee. This one looks a little bigger. These things smell. Alright. Yeah. Tulipy! White fish! Stinky! Let's get a measure on it at least. See? Almost 15 and a half. Can we see this? We're gonna use a wet rag for this because this is nasty. Oh, that's not good. We're just gonna need to grab a different rag. You can smell it in here. All right, 15 and a half inch Tula B. We're gonna go ahead and let her get going again. All right, see you swim away. Bye. Here goes another rig, thanks to the white fish. Dinner time. I dumped a few too many out though. A few hours later. Hey guys, I just woke up. I don't know what time it is. But I got a fish on. It's 4.06 a.m. I needed to pull a little bit, otherwise I'm gonna pull it out of its mouth. I can see it. There we go. It's big, whatever it is, because listen to that. Hopefully it's like a PB walleye. Like a 30, 30 inch club, come on. This was about two feet off the bottom when I went to bed, 4 a.m. Had similar thing happen last night at 3.30, but I lost it. Gotta admit though, this is an awesome way to wake up when it's a big fish. You just hope it's worth it and it doesn't get off like it did last night. That's what I love about these rods. Tuned up custom rod dead stick, man. Just the way that they load up. It allows you to keep keep that parabolic on it. <sighs> Here we go. Neil Pout. Here it is. It's just a burbot. It's not even that big. This little guy. It's got a hook in its mouth and it's not mine. It's not even my hook in its mouth. I don't know where my hook is. There it is. Both of my hooks are still in the water. This thing wrapped around my split shot and I pulled it up from being wrapped around my line. Let's get a measure on it. Here it is, 26 and a quarter inches. Look at this thing, woo! That's a good 4 a.m. fish. Nice little bonus when we're out here for these walleye. Yes! All right, let's let her go. Come on, buddy. Now you just gotta get the slime off your hands. That was nice. I'll take that for a 4 a.m. fish. Still can't believe it. Had somebody else's hook in it. I still can't believe that. This gold thing. You'll pout like it. Can't believe it was in there, but hey, I guess I'll be keeping it. My good luck charm. Maybe I'll use it tomorrow night. <laughs> Whoo! All right, I'm gonna get line set back up, get bait down, get cleaned up. It's 4:27 a.m. Makes sense why it was so hard to pull in though with all the snagged lines. I'm gonna go back to sleep hopefully for at least an hour or two here once I get done with this. Good start to the day. There we go. There it is, we can see it on the screen and I was able to get a good hook set into it. It almost looks like another eel pout. Yeah. 
Jeez, it's fun. Huge head shakes. Another bourbon, baby. Here it is. This one's about an inch shorter. It's about a 25 and a half or. Yep, just about as long as the other one. About an inch shorter, 25 and a half inch. Nice, pretty burbot. Fun fight, man. These things are fun to fight. And they have tough jaws. I'm just thankful they don't have razor sharp teeth, otherwise holding these things would be an incredible pain, but I'm pretty excited. We're gonna let her go. All right, go on, go grow a little bit bigger so I can catch you next year. Bye. Woo! Lots of walleye today, even some tulabi. Of course, the tiny little sauger. It's Lake of the Woods. What do you expect? Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.